Y, enter. That's it, I'm done. So there's my full airway routing. First leg is, of course, the highlight of Magenta. And then my, air, my two airways, Victor 463, Victor 222. Now if I go to home, I go to map, and we'll scroll down here, and there's my airway coming all the way down to Fulton County. So I can hit graphically edit flight plan. Say I want to go over here, pull it over, down, somewhere. Let's go to this. I'm trying to get close to a VR here so see, I can show you exactly how it gives you a choice. Okay, now those are my choices in that example. I want Rome VOR, early intersection, Karen, or another airway. So I say I want Rome VOR, I touch Rome. Okay, there's my bin. Done. And there's my new flight plan. I can yeah, go. I see that handy coming in as if you got the GDL 69 weather on there and it shows a cell. Drag it around. And there's my VOR where I inserted in my waypoint. So I'm going to take it out. Hit that. Remove. And I'm back to my original plot. I mean, it's, that, it's that simple. Uh, another thing that's kind of cool, if we go to the map page, and you want to go back to the uh, flight plan page, I have to go map and hit the flight plan icon, touch the CDI right there. Whoops, wrong one. Touch the CDI right there. That's a shortcut back to the flight plan page. Hmm. So. And then if you want to take all this out, just hit menu. And you can store it. You can preview it. Okay. The whole routing. I'll go back. Uh, if I want, there's an active catalog, flight plan catalog that people put in there. Uh, I can go to, I can invert it. You know, if I'm coming home, mm -hmm. reverse it. I just want to reverse it. Okay. I can do that. And then uh, if I want to delete the whole thing, or I can store it, save it in flight plan catalog. I say delete, and it'll say delete off points on iPad. I'm, that's it, it's gone. So I'll put my starting point back here. What's the dashed V on the MFD right now? I'm sorry? What's the dashed V ahead of the aircraft right now? Oh, this right here? Mm -hmm. That's your field of view that you set up here on the G500 in the map setup right here. Uh, see it down at the bottom, right field here. of view on. Yeah. See, I got it turned on or off. Right. I turn it off. Enter. It's gone. Okay. I was describing the field of view on the PFD for the synthetic train. Oh, for here? Yeah. Uh, you're talking about what you're actually seeing out here? What is the field of view then? It's just the, it just shows you the, the the view you're going to be flying the airplane through the air. Like uh, it's kind of hard to explain. Must be defining what you're seeing somewhere. Let's see. I was this, thinking maybe it was defining the width of what you were seeing over on the PFD. It, it does. It really doesn't have anything to do with this over here. It's just uh, let's turn it on here. Uh, you can also, no, that's track vector length. It's just basically your view that when you're flying the airplane, you're coming up. Man, it's kind of hard to explain to explain to everyone. Which is the upper window? Yeah, which is the upper window. Okay. Let's see, this one here supports, they both support remote transponders. We talked about that a little earlier. Uh, this one will support a remote audio panel. It's new when we announced this called the GMA35. So it doesn't, with this simulator software, I can't switch from one to two. I can do it, but it'll flip back. But I can go to audio panel. That's how my radios are set up. So I can go split mode to where, you know, you can be talking and listen to COM1. Right. And I can be talking and listen to COM2 when you put it in split mode. Um, marker volumes, sensitivities are here. Playback controls are there for the last transmission on your ATC. Uh, that's split mode. Um, split mode's kind of cool because 
and then go to intercom. Previously, on the old intercom, on the old audio panels, you choose split mode, and you get one, he gets two. Right. But everybody's listening to nav, DME, whatever else is selected. On this one in split mode, it won't stay. Probably you can like select. You can select nav one, and the copilot not hear it. The copilot can select nav two right. or DME or ADF, and you not hear it. Okay. The previous the previous audio panels, all you did was split the comms, and everything else was still shared. Interesting. Intercom. Um, I like this. This you, is you really highlight flexible. these now. The simulator and intuitive. Green. If if just you and I are going to talk, we can turn that on to green. If we want to include the bike passengers, we just turn these on. They'll stay green. So you can make the pilot talk to the passengers in the co-pilot right here. The yeah. co-pilot talk to the passengers in the pilot right here. The other thing that's really cool, or the pilot and co-pilot is, talk is to where music's concerned. The pilot, the pilot, the pilot, not the two hears it. Two separate music inputs. You can go pilot gets one set of music. Co-pilot gets another set of music, so you can have the same or different music playing to different people and still, still talk cool. to each other. Oh, that's cool. That's, well, I, I flew secretary down to, to, cool. to San Antonio. To to her music's music different than mine. She could listen to hers, I can listen to mine. It's, I mean, great nice. feature. Yeah. Great, great, great feature. Very Same thing with telephone. You, you can send a telephone anywhere you want. You can telephone and you can sit, choose who hears and talks to it. So if passengers need to talk to somebody and get the telephone going, you can turn off the pilot and co-pilot and turn them on and you don't hear the conversation. Great. Well, the telephone is wired to a jack in the panel. It's not Bluetooth or I mean, it has to have a little cable to plug into it. Sure. I mean, if you want to use the uh, the knobs for the uh, mm -hmm. for the uh, turn the frequencies, I'm just going to push that one time. Or I'm going to push it there, and then I'm going to touch that, and then I can do the knobs. Uh -huh. Nine, and then one twenty-three. Right. Your traditional way of yeah, doing it. Way. You can do frequencies and waypoints, mm -hmm. just like uh, you can with a four button mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, this here is our new GMA 350 audio panel. It has um, voice recognition, 3D audio. What do you mean by voice recognition? Uh, you can talk into the mic and you can say COM1 and it'll automatically turn on COM1. You say COM2, it'll turn on COM2. COM mic 2 and it'll switch to transmit. Yeah. Select your over 2. Hmm. Certain voice commands. We'll plug this in over here and you can hear the 3D audio. 3D audio is really cool because you know, if you're listening to ADIS and, and, and towers coming in and they're both blended together, you can't distinguish one from the other very easy. But the 3D audio puts it in two different ear cups. Hmm. So you'll have ADIS here and you'll have COM here. And it's very nice. easy mentally. Somebody step up to the plate and put those on. Other. It's like if you're, you're going to hear just like talking three or four people talking. talking. On that side, you can listen to each other you want. Nice. Do you hear it? It's great to see a Mooney with experimental on it. This 